previously on Survivor. All right, everybody, drop your buffs. <laughs> the tribe swap turned the dynamics of the game on their head, and the draft created two vastly different teams. The Rosé tribe had a clear divide between the Sokotoa 4 and the Ula Ula 3, while the Noir tribe was more even, with two Sokotoas, two Ula Ulas, and the three remaining Azulas. Three Azula people in the same... No, what was he thinking? The Noir tribe held a physical edge, winning two straight challenges after the swap. But behind the scenes, the tensions were building. Renee, Matt, and Katie and I, that already makes four out of the seven the majority anyways. Yeah, I already have a lot of white blues, so let's go um. I don't trust Alex at all, like not in the slightest. I'd be smarter to go up to person who is stronger. It'd be nice to see him leave because it'd be a little bit of relief. On Rosé, the Sokotoa majority held true, and Elise paid the price. But Molly felt insecure in her alliance and shook up the game. But personally for like me, I think it's best to like join up with you. And together, they found an idol. I know that he's been going around promising everyone safety, everyone, I want to work with you. If you're here to make friends, you're like, join the Ninic program or something. At Tribal, Shannon put Brian on blast, but he stuck to his plan and in doing so, overplayed his hand. I have money. And when Molly played the idol for herself, Brian went home, leaving the Soka Trio intact and Alan and Molly on the bottom. Twelve are left. Who will be voted out tonight? I like when I was like talking to people, I was like, it's probably gonna be Brian, but like I don't want it. like I was like, I do have that idol, but like I'm gonna use it for myself just in case, like anything. And like I'm glad like nobody voted for me, so thanks guys. <laughs> been nervous about where I stand with old Sokotoa members because like I did go against like what they were all doing. Well, we were gonna show you. So. Yeah, I know. I like, I told you yesterday too. Yeah, no, no, no. Like, yeah, no. it's honestly nothing personal. Like, I just like, I was nervous. Wait, were you the one that voted for me? No. I'm sorry. No, no, no. I really do I love you. <laughs> I really wanted to tell like, like the white tribe members and like guys, like nothing was personal. It was just like, I, I wasn't sure where I stood. And, like, I just need to make sure I made it through that round. So let's see. <laughs> we'll see if they bought it. Because like I was sincere when I said like when I said it. Why would Alan and Brian not vote together? Last tribal was pretty crazy. People got called out. Uh, people were scheming like literally five minutes uh, up until tribal, and you know Brian kind of fucked himself over. All right, well, next? I mean, honestly, I we can't trust Molly anymore. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she kind of threw a curveball at us. I don't know. She's. I don't think we can trust her anymore. I think we're. We have a better chance of trusting Alan, and the moment we actually all vote out Molly, it'll kind of solidify our relationship with Alan, and he'll be more likely to vote with us later on in the in the game. I'm feeling pretty good after this tribal, even though. Uh, Micah didn't get voted out. I see. Did you drive here, Shannon? I did. Are you going? I said how uh, much I trust Shannon at Tribal, and that was sort of to let the other Sakatoas know on the tribe that it wasn't just one Ulu versus four Sakatoas, you know, so I wouldn't be cornered out. Are you going like straight to the code? I'm going to the library. Anyone else want to go to the library? I do want to stick with the Sakatoas at this time. Yeah. I, I knew you were going to be straight up with me, but like mm -hmm. in that off chance that you won, like I didn't want yeah, people to no, know that, I that's had understandable. to that's that's understandable. Molly definitely voted for Micah, so that's kind of a red flag there, which I don't trust her anymore. And like, I hope the guys feel like know that too. And like, Evan, I was talking I was yesterday. Like, you might have to talk to them. Yeah, I might now you talk, seem like, kind of sketched. Now I seem them. sketched, but like. So we can pretty much decide who's going home next. It's going to be Alan or Molly. Right now, I'm definitely thinking Molly. True. No, but yeah, like so. I'm gonna be straightforward with you. And honestly, like this vote was honestly to just make sure I made it. Mm -hmm. Like that's it. Got you, like, girl. Got so. you, girl. So that's all. All right, I'll see you I'll next. See you later. Next meetup. She wasn't voting with uh, with us. She was voting against us. So don't need that.
Gentlemen, yeah. good job. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, Anyone doing epic? Actually, yeah. No. Me and Nicole are mad at good and tight. Um, we still hang out. We still talk. So all we really have to do is get one other person on the team from like the rest of it, and then we're fine. Yeah, I'm probably just like, getting some bullets. <laughs> oh, sure. right now there should be no reason why. Um, Matt should want to turn or go with another group of people. Me and Katie were always super tight, so we were like, we were like sticking by each other since the beginning. And then we found out that Renee and Matt were in it. And Renee and Matt are really good friends. And then I don't know how the four of us just ended up talking. I think it's because Renee and Katie have always been talking because they were on the red team together. So that's how the four of us originated. Brandon, if Brandon stays, if he'll develop, continue developing these lines. And so if yeah. we make oh, it all I mean, merger, then he's... Next vote, 100%. Yeah, I'm he's going not, Brandon. He's, he's if not we're all, anything. we're all, if we, us, we have four people. We have numbers. If we can all stick together. We just have to make it yep, not so obvious like, that it's us four. This is it. This is, this is. The dream team, I've got it. We're all business students. We all could meet up whenever. Don't be so like quick to assume whatever other people say. If they like, they say something ridiculous about one of us saying yeah. how we're gonna like betray any of us for. Because this is the original pack. So if you're like too quick to believe it, then that's when things get fucked up. But I mean, like honestly, like we're all we might end up having to throw each other like under the bus, like to say it so we don't seem like sketchy, you know? But as long as we trust each other, it's fine. Yeah. I know that we are all talking to different people, but we've agreed that that's okay and that if people start like talking and making up things about how one person, one of us in the four pack are talking crap about each other, that we confront each other first before believing it because I feel like it comes down to the core for it. We have numbers. Yeah. We shouldn't worry. Like four is cute. As long as we can like just lie low and... I feel that Renee and Matt are going to stick by me and Katie. I mean, I should have told them. I was like, you guys are really strong players in this game, which means that once we're past the merger, you guys will have to like, me and Katie will have your backs. Because I'm thinking that once we get past the merger, we'll be the stronger players. Just because, like, no one's gonna target us first. Like, if they see stronger players, they're gonna target them. That's my theory. As long as, like, we trust each other, if no matter what other people say, don't, like, believe it. But I was thinking, I really want Alex to come with us to top five or top four. So, if our team happens to lose before the merger, then we would want Brandon and Nicola out first before Alex. Hey okay, guys, so like right now, this four of us is the biggest leverage that any of us have in this game. Ew, Matt, you just ruined it! What the hell? I'm leaving. I'm so much No, 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 bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. Bring it in. Oh my God. <laughs> so, it'll be a mutual alliance, and I'm... I, I think I trust them so far. <laughs> Zoom, really? That was that bad? It was, pretty, it was terrible. Come on! <laughs>brother who's driving the car says hey is that Austin and at first I see a black guy driving a car so I say I don't think so and I look closer and I say yeah yeah it is Austin and he's holding up his phone doing his usual filming thing and I look to see who's filming and I realize it's Evan and then as we're driving through the entrance I see him hold up something that looks like a token attached to a string 
And using my considerable powers of deduction, I realize, yeah, that's probably an idol that he just found. <laughs> Alex just texted me saying, good job, randomly. And I said, what do you mean? And then he sent a winky face. I have two idols, so that's good. And I wasn't going to tell anyone. But then, dun dun dun, what happens? I'm going to send back a question mark just to see. I mean, I'm pretty sure he saw me find it. He drove right by and saw me holding it out. Like, what are the odds? But... So now he knew I had the other one, which was bad, because now there's a target on my back, at least. He doesn't know I have two. I don't think he does, unless he snuck into my room and found that one. But, yeah, that sucks. So I'm gonna tell? I'm gonna tell. There's no use for it. I mean, yeah, there's no use for me to tell it. I mean, if you, you, if you don't tell, I owe you in a way. Um, so I'm not gunning for Alex right now because he isn't on my tribe. Now maybe when we get to the merge, if we both make it to the merge, I might change my attitude towards him. Molly played an idol. Oh shit, she the white idol? Red. Don't you the white idol? That's blurred. He tells me that he found the blue idol, he might be lying. And that he thought I had the white idol, apparently along with everybody else on the way team, which is strange because I haven't even gone looking for it, but not a bad thing if people think you're immune to voting because then they won't vote you. We can... Alive. Right now. And then I can include you in my plan for things. Yeah. So, I have come up with a master plan for getting me and several other lucky compatriots to the merger and quite possibly if everything works out to the final five. So yeah, right now my plan is to eliminate those big fish that Renee and Matt. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. Now most people's idea when they come to team challenges is to vote out the weakest member which contributing the least. But I have the idea that in two challenges the strong players on our team are going to be, go from assets to threats. But I have Mike on my side, so me and Mike are team. Besides two people. Two people is the maximum. But two people will probably be the most. Because how many do you have? Five. Out of how many people are going to seven. So there are two people on the outs. I'm counting on us merging this side. We don't have to worry about alliances, backstabbing, controlling. We control everything. And having a five pack go into the tribal council we can dominate. We can vote up pretty much whoever we want. And so we can just systematically eliminate the other players until it's just us five. If I was on your team, I would try and get on you. Without me? This is the best player on your team. So we might actually have Abbott and Micah as a new part of our alliance when the merge finally comes. And I think that could be good to have. Noir getting your first look at the Rosé tribe. Brian voted out. Last tribal council. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Should've been there. Should've been there. Join the knitting club. The knitting club? The knitting club. I didn't get it. I just didn't get it. <laughs> <laughs> I've been there. I've been there. <laughs> All right. You guys ready to get your next community challenge? Yeah. yeah. Okay. First thing, Matt. Thank you. You're welcome. Once again, immunity. It's back up for grabs. Today's challenge is going to be a three-part challenge. All five of your tribe members will start down here. You'll have to put one member on this wooden plank, and two members will carry that member across the field, okay? So one of the two people who are not carrying, yes, there's water in that, Evan. It's cold. <laughs> uh, one, of those, one of the people who is not carrying should take this bucket of water. You want to keep it as full as possible. It's an advantage to you. So whatever water you can keep from that red bucket, you can use. But once you finish using that water, you must dispose of the red bucket and only use the two white ones, okay? Once you get here, you're going to toss water across from one bucket to another bucket. Bro. You're trying to fill those buckets on the left. Once you fill those buckets, you can move on to the third part of the challenge, which is a puzzle. First thing to complete the puzzle, will win immunity, safe yeah, from the boat. Well, you guys admit to strategize. Uh, Noir, you gotta sit out two people. Okay. Okay, Brandon and Nicole are sitting out? Yeah. Okay. Um, Alright, for immunity. Survivors ready. Go! <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Evan and Shannon carrying Alan. Renee, 
Matt and Michelle carrying. <laughs> Who is that? Carrying Katie. Yes, Katie. Yes. Early lead, just slightly. For Noir. Good. Alex has got a big lead. Now Noir coming. Here comes Micah carrying the bucket. Ooh. Alex is going to end the water. Matt with a toss. Renee gets just about none of it. Micah tossing a molly for Jose. Doesn't get much there. Matt and Renee tossing for Noir. Renee is soaking wet. Molly filling up water. They really not getting much. You can't. You can get more than this. That's a good toss. Molly with a nice catch. Alex, you wait, wait, Alex, you can't use that bucket. What are you doing? Can't use that bucket. You guys are gonna have a 30 second second. Alright, you can use it. 29. I know. I didn't even realize that. 27. 27. 27. Somebody have a better idea how to grab. Okay, guys. 22. Definitely water in the bucket. Throw it. I don't care getting wet. I'm soaked. Yeah. Ready, go. Yeah, yeah. There we go. There you go. A great toss from Micah. Nice catch by Molly, who's also getting drenched. Molly's starting to fill up a lot of water. They got a system. Micah and Molly doing a great job. Here comes Matt and Renee. Gets a little bit of it. Got to get more than that. Alan, Micah, and Molly with a good system. A little bit low there, but she gets a lot of water. Here comes Molly. Molly's almost halfway full with the bucket. They're flying through this. Noir's got a long way to go. They're falling behind with the mistake with the buckets. Gotta listen. Micah and Molly are getting a lot of water in these buckets. Molly is covered in water, but they're about two thirds of the way there. Ask me then. A great toss there. Molly with a lot of water in that one. Good, good, good. Yeah! Great one, great one. Renee's still not getting much. They're not even halfway there. It's a huge lead for Rose. Molly is soaking wet and it's almost at the top. Michael with a huge toss. They're nearing the end. They've got a great system. Molly getting close to the top. That ping pong ball is not far away. Keep on, keep on, keep on. Oh, that's my girl. Yeah, Molly. Give me, girl. Yes. That's it. That's it. Rosé goes. Yeah. The ping pong yeah. ball. Yeah. Rosé with the big lead trying to win this challenge. Come on, come on. You gotta run. We have to all be here. Okay, go, 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 go. Matt and Renee starting to get some more tosses. They're just going multiple tosses in one. Renee is getting drenched. They're just about halfway there. Evan's starting to work on the puzzle for Rose. Try to get the win. He's flying through this. You yes. Yes. Renee with a lot of water there. They're over halfway, but they're still a long way behind. If Evan can get this puzzle, Rose is going to win. That's what I'm talking about, Evan. I'm it right now. Yes. They're desperately trying to toss. Renee going back for some more. Game over. <laughs> Evan is nearing the end of the puzzle. He's got two moves left. Puts it down with the turtle. Evan Jose wins immunity. Yeah. <laughs> Rose, you lost the last two, but you got a big win here. Yay! And these doors, you guys are safe. Safe from the vote. Um, Nua, for the first time, you guys will be going to tribal council as a tribe. Um, so you got to figure that out. Um, I got nothing else for you. You guys are good. I'm not, not too keen on Molly right now. You know, she flip flop back and forth. It was really nice at the next challenge where I just got to throw a bunch of gross McKeldin fountain water in her face like over and over and over again. About 
That was incredible. Well, this last challenge, I blame entirely on myself for the 30 second penalty. I didn't even realize that. Either. Wait, why was it there then? It was the one we had to carry over. Oh. I don't really get very emotional very often, but I was I was frustrated. I I thought I'd lost it for my team, so I was disappointed in myself. Damn. I guess you gotta move back and forth, but it's, yeah, I can do the thing over. I can yeah. fucking see it in my head and exactly yeah. the place was right. driving me insane. Right. I mean, there went some of was some, and now things are put into perspective. That's right. I guess we're all enemies for the next... Oh, oh, don't, don't say that! Don't say that. Well, we lose the challenge on Tuesday night, and I knew Renee lived in the same direction. So Brandon and I started walking home with him, trying to, like, pick his brain. But the white team is just picking off the red one by one. So I feel we have to pick off the white on our team. Just in case it happens. The other tribe looked like they were white tribe strong and picking off red people. So I'm like, well, let's just kind of trim that tree before it grows too big. I say just cut the fat. Fat from the shell? Right. Hey, what's your thought process? I haven't even thought about losing, to be honest. Yeah! <laughs> um, I'll go with, go with whatever the, the orchestra's going with. I know Brandon's leaning towards Michelle. She's a weaker link. What they don't know, and I'm glad they don't know because We've been doing a good job of keeping it a secret is that me, Matt, Katie, and Michelle are an alliance. Now that Brandon's gone, we talked about it. So, I'm just saying, like, I think we should be an alliance. Okay. Straight up? Straight up. Why not? I've seen you levitate towards me. Yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I had a feeling that Nicole was going to come to me and want to be an alliance, and then. I ha would have to make a decision. Do I stick with the four strong, with, my, with the three other people that I have, which makes four votes, or do I go with Nicola? As long as it's a white person who goes out, that sounds weird. <laughs> as long as it's Sokotoa <laughs> who goes out. I'm not white. <laughs> yeah. There's no way. Um, as long as, as it's either one of them. I don't know. I think right now, with four strong wanting to go against Brandon, I mean, we all know that Michelle's not gonna leave. There's no, there's just no way. I wouldn't have that alliance. I wouldn't have numbers on my side. You make the decision who you want to vote for. I think it's Alex. I'm fine with that. I'm kind of leaning towards that too. Don't care. Uh, then let me know. It's good. So Michelle, will start the same way with you as I started with Nicola. Who do you want to vote out? If it's me, then just say yourself. Who do I want to vote out? Right, don't you... feel pressured. I pretty much said like. Why not you? So who? Brandon. Who, Brandon? Yeah. Okay. So I've come up with a plan that involves uh, consolidating the votes of Brandon, Michelle, Katie, Nicola, and myself against first Renee and then Matt. Now you have the same initial thought as that is to keep the strong people on our team so we don't see behind us. But here's my plan. There's some people on our team. That means that if we use both challenges, we have two people who can trim. Who are the two strongest players on our team and arguably the two strongest in the game? Matt and Renee. Exactly. If I can get two strong players out with no risk to myself, even if I we lose the challenges, that's perfect. Stick together, we control the vote. We can vote out whoever we want, doesn't even matter who they pick. I'm very confident in the logic of the plan. It's getting people to trust it. That's going to be the difficult part. Yeah. When you try to manipulate people and rely on your manipulation being successful, you uh, you're, it's like you're building that sand. You don't know how other things are going to affect your circumstances. But if you're going on the two surefire things in this world, self-preservation and logic, it doesn't matter if they like you, they hate you. If it keeps them alive, it keeps you alive. Why the fuck not? Yeah. I get back home and I get a text from Alex. And so he comes over and he invites Michelle. And I'm like, oh. I don't know what this is turning into, <laughs> but okay. Interesting. So are we down? I'm trying to talk to Brandon. I'll talk to Katie. And I nod and I shake my head and I pretend that I'm like all for it. And in the back of my mind, I'm like, it leaves like the white team, the white team going strong. So when they merge, they're still up seven. I'm like, or up six rather. I'm like, well, fuck that. What did you call it? Machiavellian. Do you know what you're doing? He wrote the Prince. That's great book. Oh, oh, I know what you're talking all about. about like yeah. famous power over. Manipulation. It's far better to be feared than love. This is why I'm so good at risk. It's because I read The Prince. 
Oh yeah. Like, this little weasel is trying to pull over a fast one on us. Yeah. And if we can keep that five pack, we can go all the way down and just cut off everybody. Nicole is, she sounded like, when I talked to her, I talked to her in her apartment, um, and she sounded too that study. I guess I did a good job of selling it. Katie, I think, is one who might make a decision out of fear of being voted out herself because I've talked to some people and they think that she's the weakest member of the team right now. So I think that she is in danger and I think that this plan gives her a way to be safe. So I think she would jump at the opportunity for it. I'm talking to people, I'm yeah. going to talk to everybody. Um, so if you hear that I've been talking to this person or that person, that's true, I'm going to talk to everybody. Oh, okay. To every single okay. Person. Yeah. And what I'm saying is that there is a plan mm -hmm. that will get you and me to the marriage. Alex came with me with a very vague plan. He didn't tell me what it was. He said, wait until the meeting. Really, really vague. I was kind of like, what the heck? Keep an open mind, but I understand that there is a foolproof plan that I can't tell you yet. There will be a meeting. And I'll text you. A meeting? Yeah. Of what? Like uh, us? The it just came off to me very sketchy and I didn't really trust him because I don't want to be allied with someone that is that literally said he's going to be manipulative because he could easily turn on me. And I don't really want to be played around or, you know, wrapped up around someone's hand. So um, I just decided from the very beginning that I don't really want to associate with him. I can't tell you this plan, but I know. <laughs> Brandon, I don't know if he's going to go on board with it. I think he might go for manipulation over logic. Um, I guess we'll find out. I'm going to go to call a super meeting. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so. You guys know I walked back with them. They have no idea that it's us four. But then Brandon said Michelle. And then Nicola said Michelle. And then they asked me. Yeah. Right? We have numbers. Yeah, it doesn't matter. We can do whatever we want. We can do whatever we want. Now the thing is, we're all thinking who? Brandon. Right? It's us four. Four against three, he's out. You know what I'm saying? I, I threw it out there. I asked Michelle, uh, who do you think we should get out? She said Brandon. And then Katie said Brandon. Matt said Brandon. So I was like, all right, we'll go Brandon. Now, thinking into the future, who's the next vote? Out of Alex. Okay, and Alex? I just don't know how much I trust Alex. Alex, Alex a white has so to go. A white has to go I'll because be I feel like he's gonna easy come, he's gonna come after us. 100 I said, who do we vote out next after Brandon? I said Alex because he's a strong competitor. Alex is very logical and he's he's manipulative, but he's honest. Like he doesn't. I know this sounds weird, but he doesn't like to lie. Okay? He's already said things like he wants to get at big people. Like numbers, already has numbers, added. right? We have four. You're not with Sokotoa, right? Yeah. You're not. And the thing is, if you know what I'm saying? Alex no alliance with Sokotoa. Yeah, only hold nobody in Sokotoa had to. <laughs> nobody had to. I know you like Alex, but he's a strong guy, and, and he's not in our pool. He's going to go back when we all merge and have alliances with Sokotoa. So it's like, that's not happening. I said Alex, and Michelle was really hesitant. She's also a Sokotoa girl, so... I was fishy about it. Honestly, honestly, I know, I know how you feel. I know how you feel. How do I feel? You know, he's a handsome young man. Renee like was all like Michelle, like da 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 da, Alex, Alex, this and that. But you should stick with us. If we keep Alex and we merge, Shannon and Alan are friends. Shannon and Alan. Shannon, Shannon and Alan are friends. So Alan could go with the rest of Sokotoa and so can Alex. And then we're four. They're six. I don't know. I was pretty convinced because I feel like I could trust them just because Phi Chi and we're all in it together. I believe that me, Matt, Katie, and Renee are probably the strongest uh, alliance in our tribe. Um, I think like Brandon, Brandon should be out first, especially to keep her happy. Um, and like I'm fine with Brandon getting out first because he knows people on the other tribe and he annoys me. Um, <laughs> you know, it's crazy because it's like 
Yeah, like I want to keep her happy. She's in R four. I know, I know. But at the same time, it's like I know. If if all merch happens, there we don't we don't have numbers anymore. Yeah, no. Yeah. no, I, I agree. Mean? I agree. So after the lunch meeting, I was convinced to stick with Matt, Renee, Katie, and R's pact. So I was settled on that, and I didn't really feel the need to talk to anyone else until Alex texted me. And I thought I could easily get Alex on our side just by going like, hey, let's vote out Brandon. It seems like a pretty easy choice. Right now we have, this is like a semi pack, you know, but like I'm not like sure about Nicola at all. When you speak logic to people, they're gonna listen. Unless they just don't trust you at all. I don't think anybody here is that patient. But then I, I'm like, I was like working that through my head and I was like, okay, that's actually like a pretty solid plan and I can't see any flaws in it. And I was like trying to work it out the entire day after, um, but I couldn't see any flaws. So I was like, you know what? Like, I'll tell Katie about this and like, maybe she'll help me figure out what to do. Okay, the question I want to ask you is like, do you think our merger with Renee and Matt will go on past the merger? I mean, Renee might be a little skeptical of Michelle. I think it's the same vice versa with Michelle and Renee. They don't really like completely trust each other. But I think that Renee and Matt completely trust each other and me and Michelle trust each other. So I think that's how it sort of works because I'm kind of like a mediator between her and them. I don't know what to do because like, I don't like our pack, our original pack was you, me, Renee and Matt. Yeah. And I don't want to break that pack, but I also have a pact with Alex. Okay, so that's so why I wanted him to bring into ours originally, but I can't like find a flaw in his way of thinking. To be honest, I'm leaning more towards like Renee and Matt just because I trust them more. But I don't know, things could really change in the like in the last minute again. So I don't just, think like, you should like be like set on anything. Yeah, I will like just kind of be like I won't give Alex a set answer, um, and I and we won't tell Renee and Matt. Yeah, what Alex told yeah. us. Yeah, and Definitely. we'll just see what they have to say. Me and Michelle are basically in the middle of the whole thing. I intentionally kept you guys in the dark because I didn't want you to have time to second guess yourselves after I told you or to spill the drinks in the house. So tonight there is a secret meeting at the stroke of midnight and one way or another I'm gonna know who's on my side there and who's not. The plan is to get us cool and cool to all vote for first name and then that. I'm feeling really Uneasy, because Alex is full of shit. If we have a super pack of five people, then come to the merge, we can basically dominate Travis. Like everything he says is in this really broccoli whispery voice. He has such an air to him, such like a I know more than everybody, and I have this secret plan shit. And he thinks he's slick by trying to put together this group, which is obviously the group he thinks is weakest, but he can take out later. I had right. already made alliances with people who were going to become a merge, and to figure you guys out my alliances and my alliances with people who so I'm not to tell you who they are for obvious reasons. But he keeps on giving himself away every single time we talk, when he talks about I have alliances on the other team. What makes you think that you're not just going to flip on the people in this one right now? It's so fucking stupid. So stupid. Or figure out if Matt has a medal, um, which I know for a fact that somebody else has a good team. What he doesn't know, wow, 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 is that um, me and Nicola and Matt and possibly Renee, we're talking to Renee, but, uh, Renee tomorrow, um, we're all gonna vote Alex out. <laughs> Renee and Matt. Doesn't matter. Uh, Alex, I don't think you're playing the game as well as you think you are. Honestly, I think more people are inclined to vote Renee out than that out the merge. For sure. Uh, so wouldn't that mean you want to leave him in? Yes. That way, that way the they... sway of the tide at the merge will okay. already be going towards my name. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So I just had my uh, secret meeting, and it was very informative. And I got really paranoid, I think, that... I don't know why, but I think Brandon was lying about something. Brandon, you're looking off into the distance, is there something in your mind? I know you're full at the moment, but is there something else? Yeah. No. Uh, what? Like, I'm just... When I asked Brandon, like you're looking, like you're concealing something, he's smart enough to not have that hiccup, and 
it wasn't um that wasn't truth i could tell um but no i understand what's being said matt seems like like the appropriate good choice to make no, I'm going to try and get Brandon out because I think in the long run, physical prowess aside, he's the most dangerous player because he can turn people and he can make friends and he um, he can strategize. And I think that's, now that I've actually had a part in this, I think that's what the game's about. Okay, so Matt. The crazy thing is I don't even know that I'm right. Hell, I'm probably wrong. I have nothing going but my own intuition. Just that he was lying, not even that he was trying to vote me out, just that he was lying about that one thing, and then logic just kind of took over from there, and it's like a giant chess game, you make one move, and a whole series of logical moves plays out from there, and you get this crazy conclusion just from this one move, and I don't even know if that one move is real, um, so I'm, I'm losing my mind, I'm going to talk to Renee, but I think, yeah, I think Brandon, and I guess, Regardless of whether or not he's playing against me, if me, Michelle, and Katie, and Renee all vote up Brandon, then Brandon's the one who's going to go home. Okay, so uh, Tuesday night's going to be our tribal man challenge? Yes. Okay. Alex got like super paranoid, and then he was like, you know what, Like maybe we should vote up Brandon. And I was like, yes, finally. So it's going to be either Brandon, Renee, or Matt out. And right now I'm hoping that Alex keeps this, keeps this agreement, because me and Katie are on Matt and Renee's side, and we are the sway ropes, basically. Okay, so do you guys know what's up with Alex and his A tiny bit, but can we go over it again? Um, he's yeah. going for you, dude. Yeah. Me? Big yes. Time. Yeah. Alex. I was skeptical of him anyway, like thinking he would gun for me and Renee, but I've heard that he's specifically gunning for me to go out this week. Um, bold move. I think it's like kind of like the like Justice League kind of like thing. Like, it's like how he thinks about it. It's really like, he's very idealistic. Wait, so it was you, Michelle, Katie, and him? I don't feel good about Katie and Michelle right now. It'd be one thing if they kept me updated about everything, like, they haven't even told me about the plan, so they think I have no idea about this whole plan. So, like, yeah, I don't really trust them. Because we were talking- so you and then you. No, he was literally- Nicola told me that there's Matt. There's this master plan that Alex has put together to get Matt and me out. And I was like, wow. I trusted Katie, Michelle, and Matt. I it was us four. Now, it's uh, me, Matt, Nicola, and Brandon, and we're gonna break apart so Katoa. They're not bonded. Ooh, blah, shit. blah. Exactly. Ooh, shit. That's exactly what And, and, and Michelle has been so sketchy lately. No, it's ridiculous Mich how sketchy she is. I told Michelle, I was like, you're safe with us four, but she wanted to go the other route. She's just full of it. She's lying to me, and it sucks. It sucks. That's why I was saying I think we should vote out Alex. Yeah, but I'm <laughs> No, I agree. I think like Fuck that hoe. <laughs> Me, Nicolo, Brandon, and Matt, no question want Alex out. He's a schemer, he's got this master plan, but his master plan is obviously so him and Michelle can go back with Sokoto. We're not stupid, you know that. And uh, we want to get him out, but we also don't know if he has an idol. So we vote for Alex. Yep. Worst case scenario, he pulls out some sort of immunity idol. Yeah, then I'd be toast. So the fearsome foursome, as I like to call it, came up with three plans of attack. First, we make it seem like we're going along with his plan, and then us four vote for Alex and hope he doesn't play the idol. The second option is to make it seem like we go for Alex, he plays the idol, and then we vote for Michelle. Then our third option is to make it seem like we're going for Michelle, and then we vote for the for Alex the last get, second, and then hope again that he doesn't play the idol. So like you guys have to like really sell it to him that like you're gonna vote for me, so he won't play it if he has one. Me and Matt are telling Michelle and Katie that we're voting Brandon, which we're not. But you know, if they would have stuck with us in the first place, this wouldn't have happened. But that's you know, they were playing the game. They, the game just played them. This is gonna be crazy. This is, I know what it feels like now to have things just like, it, you can't stop thinking about it because there's so many different things that are going on and we have so many different theories. It, it feels crazy. I just, I hope that it works out in the favor of me and my alliances. Layouts are not even that hard. Oh! oh. oh.
The reason for the candle is that in this game, fire represents your life. Once your fire is out, so are you. Welcome to Tribal Council. Alex and Michelle here for the first time. Michelle, how does it feel to, to be a tribal for the first time? Uh, exhilarating. That was a lot, a lot different than what I was used to from previous challenges. Uh, and I finally understood why everyone said that Survivor consumed your life. <laughs> so Brandon, it's the first time your tribe's going to a vote. So are you guys determining it based off the challenge? I think somewhat, but at this point in the game, I feel like everybody to some degree is like wheeling and dealing a little bit. But I definitely think that uh, based on this so on this vote, uh, like solely, there's probably more of a lean towards what the actual factors were in the last challenge. Renee, is it more about keeping strength for the challenges at this point or for looking to the long term future? I think a lot of people are on the mindset of cutting strength. What makes you say that? Strong people. You don't want strong people when the when the merge comes. Nicole, what were you? What would you say are the factors that have played into how everyone strategized for tonight's vote? I agree. Like the topic of the conversation is get the strong people out because of the merge. But that, I mean, your personal strategy always takes precedence. So. That might be how people pitch it initially, but when you take a step back and analyze what you're going to do and how you're going to vote, you have to take into account your game. Alex, what's that paranoia like of not knowing what the rest of the tribe is doing? I have a strange sort of mind, I guess. But for me, it's a bunch of patterns. And people are, it's, imagine a bunch of binary code floating through your entire head. And each, I guess, each person is either a zero or a one or a two or whatever, and it's just kind of all these different patterns look at you. I don't know which one. Think of what one person's decision might make, and then that affects this and this and this, and they can only do that under this and this circumstance, and it takes you on this whole crazy feather and drive these absurd conclusions based on one thing that you might not even know for true. It might just be your own intuition. And it's that times a thousand. Who feels, feels like they're in danger today? Just raise your hand. I feel like you're in danger. Nobody. <laughs> well, we nobody and yeah. everybody feels in danger. Well, that's, that's got to be a comforting thing. So, Brandon, is tonight going to be a blind side for the person who goes? I guess so. Like, I guess if nobody feels in danger, <laughs> then it's going to be a blind side for someone. So, does everybody feel like they're in a group of at least four that will win the vote tonight? Unless different packs have agreed on the same person, we can have that. So everybody feels like they've got that group. Wow. Well, I gotta say, I've, I've, I've never seen a tribe simultaneously so paranoid and so secure. I think we'll have to work it out in the boat. Um, Renee, you're up first. Yes. So tribal is uh, very confusing. This is crazy. You knew you'd leave at some point. Like, let's be honest, you weren't gonna win. I am really, really sorry. Don't want to do this to you, but someone's gotta go, and it ain't gonna be me. Oh my god, this is some crazy shit. I don't even know what to say. It's like process of elimination, basically. So, I'm um, sorry to see him go, but that's just the way things have to be. If anyone has a hidden immunity idol and you would like to play it, now would be the time to do so. All right. Once the votes are read, the decision is final. Person voted out will be asked to leave the Tribal Council area immediately. I'll read the votes. First vote, Brandon. Brandon. Michelle.
Michelle. Brandon. That's three votes Brandon, two votes Michelle, two votes left. Sixth vote. Michelle. That's three votes Brandon, three votes Michelle, one vote left. Seventh vote. And the seventh person voted out of Survivor, Guts and Glory. Michelle. Michelle, that's four. Tonight, that's enough. I don't have a candle. Michelle, the tribe has spoken. Everybody said they felt safe, and I think a few of you might have been a little bit surprised by what's on your faces. Um, so you better figure out what happened. Long way to go from here, and that's not the first blind side we'll see. So, head back, you guys are good. Thank you. Stay tuned for scenes from our next episode. Next time on Survivor. The blind side leaves two people clearly on the bottom. Who knows, maybe maybe we'll throw this challenge. And after losing her best friend, Katie's not pleased. They literally have you as your little bitch and they just control you. They just use you as a vote so they can win. Like You know that. That's what they did on their tribe. So... Straight up, I think we should work together as three girls. But Nicola hatches a plan for the future of the game. Let the dudes just treat us as extra votes. Like, let them eat each other up. Okay, so obviously our four pack didn't work out the way I expected it to. Um, and I think the main reason why was probably because Renee didn't come to me, Matt, and Katie's final um, meeting tonight where I could have explained everything I did. Um, I think Renee was the one who turned and I think, well me, Katie and Matt probably all voted Brandon out. But what's done is done. I mean, I thought our pact was very secure to begin with. Um, but now it's interesting to see what they'll do because they don't have a majority anymore. And <laughs> all bets are off. I have no idea who's going to win now, who's even going to make it to merger. So that'll be fun to see.